Hi. So it's pretty crazy in the world right now. We've had the pandemic and now the riots are going off in America and the protests are spreading around the world. And yeah, it's a pretty crazy time to be alive. I mean, it's um, uh, I can only speak for what I can see and I'm looking a lot into the, what's happening in America and the UK and uh, it's kind of quiet here in the UK, not much happening. The PMQs and you know, the, the politicians are all going around in circles, not much being said, at least on the... Uh, public side of things, I imagine there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of quiet in comparison to what's going on in America right now. And things are really, really kicking into gear. Um, and I believe it's all to do with the uh, upcoming US election. As there are some people who are, are standing to lose a lot of power and money and authority if Trump was to be re-elected. And I think he will, personally, but it's going to be hit one hell of an interesting show until we get to that point in November. And yeah, this seems to me uh, that the COVID narrative has failed. It's been lost. It's still being um, strung out here in the UK and parts of Europe. Um, but in the, in the US, it's totally switched. Now, if the most media, mainstream media outlets are wholly focusing on these riots and... Uh, but I have a feeling these will fizzle out. I don't know. If, uh, I don't think this will last for, for weeks. But hey, I could be wrong. Like the uh, peaceful protests, for sure. Uh, there, actually, I can see the reason behind that. Even if they may even, uh, unfortunately, be used as cover-ups for the Antifa and all the other aggressive groups who are sort of piggybacking off these people coming together. And I've heard about how George Soros and Co have actually very cleverly. Um, created or or hijacked uh, groups like the Black Lives Matter and Antifa and stuff like that to further their agenda of um, taking down the United States and uh, President Trump. I mean, ultimately, these, these globalists have been working to, to cut the heart out of America and gut America and the whole world for a very long time. But it seems to be um, that they were losing over this period of time. Um, even, you know, the COVID, uh, it's, to me, seemed like the uh, evil forces going all in on a move of poker. Like, they, this had to succeed, otherwise, that's it. It's game over. They're going to lose anyway. Um, and now I've been really getting into this Q stuff. I mentioned on my last video, I was sort of touching upon it and starting to think, actually, yeah, this could be possible. Now, I've researched it a lot, and I, I'm really, really starting to believe that... Well, I would actually say... The only thing now is that possibly the whole Trump Q movement is just a precursor to another form of control, but for sure it is dismantling this one. This current globalist system is being attacked and dismantled as we speak right now. And I was watching today a very interesting court hearing um, where one, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, I'd never heard of him before, but he's tied into the Flynn case. He was an attorney general. Uh, or something like that, and it was really interesting to see, like just in a in a court in a in a law sort of situation, people talking about the Flynn case and how this thing has to be resolved. Like, why we have to get to the bottom of this? Was there any reason for this? Has this was this actually just an entire scandal to try and um, uh, impeach Trump, get rid of Trump, eliminate Trump um, as he wasn't supposed to win? <laughs> According to the globalist agenda, they must have been kind of surprised when he actually win. I guess it was um, Hillary will win, or if she doesn't win, we'll just take this guy out with, I guess, their approach. But it has failed. And I'm starting to think, or well, maybe this is the beginning of a new era in, humani in humanity's chapter. Maybe it just gets really fucking bad. Like, we knew people that have been awake for a long time now. We knew it was going to get worse before it got better. Maybe this is it getting a bit more worse until we can really start to improve things on this planet and i do believe unless it is a uh, hijacked or uh its ultimate agenda is to serve an uh, another negative agenda that we can't quite see that trump getting into office for another four years will totally destroy what is left of this globalist system and what comes after it who knows um but for sure time will tell so I mean, it's kind of it's kind of alright for me being here in the UK where nothing's really happening apart from going a little bit around circles and businesses need to open up. So it's kind of interesting, kind of fun to watch it from the sidelines. But I know it's really hard for a lot of people. Uh, 
and the people are getting their livelihoods destroyed i'm sure there'll be um there'll be ways for you to recover and i hope the government the united states is able to come together and help these people that have been uh, attacked by the rioters in the name of george floyd which clearly clearly has gotten a bit out of hand i mean a channel i watched recently was talking about how in canada even rioting or, or looting has started and it's like okay so this man died in uh united states so that justifies me robbing and uh, uh i think it was guitars from like a music shop in canada like that makes total sense right so it's just madness but when you can see how if it is just you know like the plan b or the extension of plan a that didn't quite work um you know maybe they had to resort to the next phase a bit uh hastily but yeah for me it's, i think this will also fail the american people will come together and i'm seeing some really cool videos of and photos of americans coming together and protecting their local communities taking it into their own hands their own protection um which is really great i think that's awesome to see i saw one uh, video which was supposedly endorsed by the police of all these men um, just patrolling the local community. You know, there were arms. I don't think they, I don't see many guns, but they at least had um, like weapons like baseball bats and stuff like that. And it didn't look like they were, no one was going to go mess with them, you know, so it worked. Um, so that's quite inspiring to see. And also, what other people are um, talking about, I'm just going to echo here because I do agree with it, is. Uh, the narrative on gun control in America just got totally destroyed. I mean, how can you say, how can it ever be said that the police will be there to protect you when they've been ordered to stand down and then people are, you know, they're getting the businesses destroyed and the police aren't doing anything. So now if I was in America, I would want a fucking gun. I would want a gun. I'd want to be able to protect myself. You see these horrible videos of innocent people getting beaten up. and Imagine if they had a gun. It, it wouldn't happen. And I saw another video of a man who had a gun. And he was able to defend his shop. And the, the looters were scared away. No one was even hurt. He was just standing there shouting at them, Get out of my shop. And it worked. And then you see another video of two unarmed civilians. One, this old woman just getting beaten brutally with a big piece of wood by these by these men and uh, you see her husband trying to defend her and he gets beaten as well imagine if one of them had a gun what would happen they would be scared away they wouldn't be able to do that and i mean i know the rest of the world in general for like you know for most of europe uk is so scared of having a gun we've been so scared by our government that we need to rely on them to protect us but i would want a fucking gun in that situation i've always said i'd like to have a gun i wouldn't want to go and kill people for no reason but i want to be able to defend myself and that's a perfect example so the gun that control narrative in america has just been totally totally just fallen apart uh try telling us some americans just had their business totally destroyed or been beating up you shouldn't have a gun to protect yourself because you can rely on the police and then you see videos of police just letting the riots happen they've been ordered to stand down and I find it really interesting how this is happening in mostly democratic cities and states. Um, but that's, you know, that just, there's people suggesting, and I'm kind of, you know, sort of leaning towards it as well, that that it's uh, done on purpose for the elections. Like, it's like, it's, it's all in. It's either we win or we die. Because what happens afterwards, they get put in a jail, I guess. <laughs> if there is, you know, if it is managed to be... Um, that this whole General Flynn thing comes out, Obama gets true, which I think it is, but you know they've got to be able to see it on, on TV, I guess, for for many other people to realise this. So that's going to be such a huge moment if that does come. Like Hillary Clinton is supposed to be going into court soon. She uh, sent in some lawyers or something um, to try and defend her, not actually coming in, but it didn't didn't work, as far as I can see. So she actually has to come in and testify relating to her email server. So yeah, it's all kicking off. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, I'm, my life's still going good. Um, I'm still having you know challenges and stuff. But that's just life. But uh, I feel totally blessed to be where I am. Uh, I think I must have deserved it in some way. Because yeah, I feel really blessed and I appreciate it so much. So I'm just going to keep going on with what I'm doing. I'm really, uh, really excited to see what this world could be like if 
you know, if, if Q is legit, if Trump's legit, if the awakening is happening and we actually start to move into a golden age, what will that actually look like? I mean, I've been talking with it with some of my friends just to give like small examples, like just to give people a taste of what we could be living like. And one example is just there could there is no need for an income tax. Imagine people don't have to pay an income tax. And that's just one tiny little example for how much of more better and efficient world we could have. But just an example, like if we didn't have the debt system, we didn't have to pay interest on the debt and the national debt. And in the UK, it's like, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 billion pounds a year. I mean, it's a few years ago I checked. And that money just goes to pay the interest of the debt. And now imagine you did, we had a much more efficient, transparent, honest monetary system where we didn't have that. Just again, another small example. And all of that money that was being put into the interest of the national debt could then go into funding um, education uh, or, or healthcare or actually useful, productive things for society instead of just going into the hands of the already super rich who are just on an insane power trip and now just want more control over their population. The psychopaths. So these, this is the world we should start to think about, start to create and build towards, because it really is, uh, could be the future. So, and not to say it all res um, goes down to the elections, but I think it's a very, very, very big part of what's going on, and that's why there is such an attempt to try and um, hijack the narrative, uh, and the, the globalist system is going in overdrive to try and either destroy America or win the election by any means possible, but I personally, I think it's, they're going to fail. I think it's time. The darkness has had its time for so long for humanity. And we've been really under some grueling, grueling conditions of life for so long. Now it's time for us to prosper. It's time for us to flourish. It's time for us to evolve and grow into the, what we can truly be. And we, we, the thing is, I think we've gotten so used to, being live, to living in this kind of way that we don't even know what we're missing. It's like, I don't know, it's like you hear about the, the elephants that are tied to a post or something when they're, when they're young. And so they, they, um, when they're older, they could have this tiny little stake in the ground that would no way be able to hold, their way, uh, hold them back if they were to, to go forward. But because that's how they were brought up when they were young, they don't even resist. They just accept it. And that's a good example you know, of how we just don't even know what it's like to be free. I mean, we're that elephant that's pinned down and we're just like, oh, okay, this is this is how life is supposed to be. You know, I'm supposed to work a job I hate and pay taxes until I die. Uh, and then it's supposed to get, uh, it seems to be getting even worse. Like the living conditions seem to, be, seem to be going down and it should be going up. And I think it's going to start going up. I think we're actually going to start seeing some huge, great, positive change. It's going to be, it's going to be bumpy though and it's going to be rough until things start to calm down, this globalist system really starts to die, and uh, yeah, we get to usher in a golden age, uh, I'm really excited to see what that's going to be like, either way, I mean, what's the worst that happens, we die, it's either we die, uh, or we go into a golden age, uh, either sounds pretty good to me, so uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what happens, good luck guys.